Well, morning everyone. This one load is gonna take me all day. We got six stops, nine pallets. I run it through one of the, uh, put it in the GPS and my Google Maps on my phone. It is 290 miles loop. <laughs> I mean, it's a loop. I am starting basically my day off. I'm not gonna say the exact towns, but we're gonna say I start my day off first delivery down in say Portland. Then we work our way up the coastline all the way to a town, we'll say Waldeboro. And then from there, we're going up towards a town, say, we'll call it, say, West Paris, Maine. Then back to the shop. It is literally, we are going up the coast, all the way back over this way, and then back down. And between the last two deliveries is the longest mileage going to be. It is that time of the year. It is where what we what we get for orders. We take in all week long. These these orders are probably put in last week, so we're going to deliver them today. We might get a few stragglers in during the week. Maybe we'll deliver them at the end of the week or not. We don't know. But this is going to be a all day load. It happens. But let's get going on down here to the first one and start getting us off. Got that take according to the owner got that done yesterday uh, and we got our, I got my first check with the wrong date it's a year old so I left a note for the customer letting them know they put the wrong date on and that uh, we'll probably correct it in the office with their permission so there's no forgery or anything like that. It's just to check, change the year from 23 to 24. Uh, we are 20 miles to the next one. So let's get going. Now this one right here, we're definitely gonna test out the uh, new tire. I'm gonna go, 
the worst part is it's downhill. I have to drive downhill because the way he wants it placed. There's no place to turn around down there, so that's making me nervous. But we're gonna hit, we're gonna do it, and I gotta try to back out of there empty, uphill, so. Uh -huh. We'll definitely see if uh, that third wheel drive with the new tire works real well. Let's get it done. That's my third wheel drive lever. That lever controls the wheel under me. This next delivery, we're like 15 miles away from. However, I do not load this truck in the morning. It's already loaded when I show up. The owner loads it. However, he messed up a couple things. He's got two pallets swapped around on me, so I have to unload from the passenger side. Now, let me rephrase that. To the, from the passenger side, not from the driver's side. Because I gotta pull one pallet out of the way to grab the two pallets I need, then I need to slide that pallet back. Oh boy. Feels like a Monday. Well let's get up here and get to get up and get this one off. Okay. We're uh 30 minutes, 21 miles from the next one. Uh, my phone just went off saying we're under a winter storm warning. Uh, it, I I don't know if somebody messed up punching in, typing it in the computer in, for the alert. But uh, it says we're supposed to get anywhere between five to 17 inches. I don't know if somebody messed up when they punched it in the computer, so it's supposed to be five to seven, or if they're saying it's five inches down by my house and 17 up in the mountains. I'm assuming that's what they mean by that. Uh, plus on top of that, they're calling for two to three inches of rain. So I don't foresee a doing anything tomorrow but uh, let's get going the next one here I can act according to my Waze app I use uh, there's an accident along the way so that could delay me getting up there but let's get going this was a fun one to get to don't mind the stereo just shut the truck off but yeah, this was a foot. This was a fun one to get to. Uh, of course, it's out on an island. I'm right down by the water. I mean, the water's right there. You'll see it in the video. Uh, windy one-way dirt roads till I come up to it, get up to here, and then turn into two-way. I'm just as wide as the road is, and I got tra I come around the corner here, and I freaking run into traffic. Car's trying to get out, I'm trying to get in. Oh yeah, it was a mess. But it happens and we're here. I gotta text the owner, let him know I'm here so he can open up the door through his phone app. Uh, doors look big enough that I can get in and do it with just a donkey. However, I don't know if it's going into the tight corner or not. Might need the pallet jack. Either way, we're here. Let's get this one off. Well, I sent the customer the message to let him know I'm here and to open up the garage door. While I wait for that, I'm gonna get that stuff. I'm gonna get the stuff moved around on the truck, so it'll be ready to go once I do this, do this delivery.
Okay, I got the pallet swapped around. I'm gonna secure the truck. I'm still waiting for the doors to be opened. Okay, doors open. We just gotta set it inside the door, so we're good. my mess up I didn't leave the my, the uh, slip on the pallet so I had to go back there and jiggle it in the uh, door seal we're five miles away from it the next delivery that way but it's 21 miles to get there again I'm down on the water so I gotta go all the way back in then over and then back down that's what you get for living in this area okay let's get going shop behind me here is the one where it's going I was able to get in there last time let's see if I can do it this time no I shouldn't have customer wanted me to back into his driveway I don't know where the ditches are because of the snow guess what now I'm stuck As soon as it starts to grab, it spins. Yeah, I just spread some, we just spread some ash from the wood stove on the ground here. Let's see if that gives me enough traction.
took the load, moved stuff back. Wood stove ash. And that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move up and get this thing taken care of. We're out. Sure. Told all the people in the neighborhood that they need to get out, get out now. Once everybody gets out of the out of here, uh, I gotta pull the machine down that way, pull the truck out into the road. Then I gotta put everything back on the truck because that was the only way I could get out. I had to take stuff all the way off the front of the truck so I get the front tires to come up out of that ditch. Took the weight off the front, put it towards the back, give me more traction. Ah, fine. Change of plans, not everybody's out of here, so I did manage to get the truck backed up in the driveway far enough and over enough, so let's get this taken care of. That car still hasn't left. Hopefully I can reach across and grab it. Now I don't give all the trying because one one wrong move and that thing falls off. I'm going out the road. Oh well. If they're not all out, I can't do nothing about it. I'll do that, I'll bring you to the truck, change batteries on the GoPro.
Okay. I want to apologize. I'm going to seem a little irritated because I was. The customer insisted on me backing into their driveway to get out of the roadway to let traffic through. Now he sees why I said I didn't want to. So I guess next time I'm here, I'm not backing in the driveway. We are 38 miles to the next one. I'll see you up there. Wow, just happened. Wow, that just happened in front of me. Just, just, I didn't see it happen, but it just happened. By the looks of it, everyone's all right. customer to me I have no idea if it's an inside or an outside delivery it does not say the last one doesn't say inside or outside either I think the last one nah, I'm not gonna jinx myself let's get this done and keep the truck out of the ditch Get going.
Yeah, another one of those. Just slide it in. The barn. said it was gonna be an all day all day run I knew it was when I saw the stops and especially when I saw the distance between the last two the one you previously in this delivery I said it was what 84 miles that's quite a distance and we've done uh 200 over 200 miles we'll be hitting 300 by the time we get back to the shop but again it's gonna be oh dark 30 before I get there so Please like, share, subscribe, stay safe, comment if you'd like, and I'll see you in the next one.